What's up guys, I'm Brady Romberg. I'm a stuntman and I know a lot of people don't know much about stunts, but it's part of why I'm doing this documentary called Stunt Legends. Um, one of the coolest things about my job is when I get to sit on set with some old timers and just listen to them tell their stories. Uh, and it's, it's a really small group of people who get to really know what happened behind the scenes on these movies. And that's really why I'm doing this documentary. It's because I want to preserve and share our history um, you know, with people who care. So, if you want a taste of what's to come, stay tuned. He said, Bob, have you ever thought about being a stuntman? I said, a stuntman? I said, no, not really. Man, I thought it was crazy. I said, wow, these guys really do that? In my young early days of working, the mentality was uh, to get the shot no matter what. And you just don't give up. I don't care if they gotta carry you out on a stretcher, you don't give up. And I think I was one of those, and that's why I became like one of the guys. In earlier days, guys you did saddle falls for $12 down and no word of pants. So I've been on a set where people have been killed, maimed, crippled. Being a stuntman, it's glorious. There was no CGI. Everything was for real. Did I know how to fall off of a horse? No. Did I make a lot of mistakes? I had a lot of bruises. It's kind of like on-the-job training. There's no fixing it in the middle. Once you do a high fall, you're on your way, you're on your way. And the guy walked back and he said, Freddie, I can't do this. Freddie said, oh, yes, you can. <laughs> 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 Women were not really I don't know, I think we were supposed to just be silent and do what we were told. Well, that doesn't work when your life's on the line sometimes. You have just a couple of seconds to untangle you, otherwise, bam, you never can tell who you might land on and hurt. A friend of mine tried to get me out of the car when I was underneath, but they told him not to because they didn't know whether my back was broken or neck was broken or whatever, so I had to lay there upside down in the car for about 28 minutes before the, the uh, Metapax came. We were the investigators for the motion picture industry for accidents. I investigated several accidents of a very close friend, Dar Robinson, for example. I went down and investigated Dar's uh, passing. Losing stunt people, it, it is like losing one of your family members. You have to get past it and over it, over it. Otherwise, none of us would ever do it again. I mean, how many people want to run out in front of a car and get hit and throw them through the air? You know, if you're in your right mind, it's, it's crazy. And the wagon's coming, I'm like, oh my God, I got the cameraman by the belt and there's nowhere to go. We're both gonna die. So <laughs> the wagon flips over and just disintegrates on the ground right there and the chickens are everything. No, it's just a chaotic, wreck and it's wonderful. The director goes, keep rolling, keep rolling. And he feels a pat on the shoulder. He goes, what are you doing here? He says, what do you mean? He says, why aren't you in the wagon? He says, a guy could get hurt in there. <laughs> he says, well, what am I paying you the 1500 for? To turn the wagon over. It's over, isn't it? <laughs> you know, Debbie Evans basically was the first girl to turn over a car on ships. First girl. I mean, to have a girl turn over a car, come on now. you, you got to be kidding me. You're going to let a girl turn over a car? You bet. And she did. And she did a good job. And the rest of it's legendary. I've read cars. I've turned over cars. I jumped off the watchtower, which is 80 feet high, jumping down a three-story elevator shaft. I know I've been no. set on fire, you name it. I've done over a thousand shows. I don't remember. I just take the residual checks. Getting Wonder Woman, I, I think I thought I was Wonder Woman. I clean the house, raise kids, grocery shop go get blown off of something. My life changed from being a barn boy at $22 a week to reaching a pinnacle that everybody would give their life to do, and I had no idea that I'd ever get there. See, I was the first Afro-American in the Stuntman's Association of Motion Pictures. That announcement was on radio for about one week, about three times a day. I just think I'm grateful for the chance of surviving long enough to get my Lifetime Achievement Award. And to be the first woman, I'm honored. My relationship with Jim Garner will be remembered the rest of my life. We're 48 years. Those relationships don't exist. I got to rub elbows with presidents. Reagan, you ever heard of him? People ask me, well, if you could start over again, would you do, do this again? I'd do it all again. I think the most alive I've ever felt is actually being on set doing a stunt. I don't dwell on the fact I'm the, the age I am. I can still tumble, I just can't get up. 
anymore. I have to have a couple of people help yeah. me up. Yeah, it makes me sad that I can't work anymore, but you know, I'm 73 and I've had a really good run at it all the years I've worked. My journey has been, for me, a wonderful, a wonderful trip. You know, and then that's all history now.